Good morning, everybody. I want to show you our uh, <clears throat> our system of highways and byways in our backyard here. They're a little dirty right now. I apologize. The snow's starting to melt. Uh, they used to be a lot deeper, but I came back here and I made sure that the dogs could get to all areas of our yard all winter. So we had one highway going straight through there, one going all the way around the perimeter, and then a few going through here like this. Except, like I said, it's pretty much all melted. Guess I can get the snow plow out and plow them clear again a little bit. Good morning. It's Saturday. The weather's finally starting to agree with me a little bit more that we should start moving towards summertime. This has been our high-tech highway plow. For you who are those who are new, we're in uh, southern Manitoba in Canada. I live just above western Minnesota, on the north side of the line. This is all I do. Diesel really likes it when I do this. He thinks it's a game. <laughs> and every day all winter I would do this, so it's packed down quite a bit. See these big snow drifts that we got back here? But yeah. This way everybody can get uh, to all parts of the yard. Especially the little guys. Like Frank, the little wiener dog. He's a little bit of a low rider. He's more of a city dog, you know. Sort of like a low rider pickup truck. Morning. I like your mug over there. Very fancy. Dog mom. Speaking of which, I haven't told the vlog it. Do you want to tell them the the good news? What's going on with the IVF? It begins March 21st. March 21st. I go in for blood work. And then about a week later, roughly, give or take. Oh, I go in for blood work. I start taking an oral medication. Then a week later, I go off that oral medication and I start two injections. And for, I think it's five days, I take those two injections. And then I go off that one, and then I start a new injection. Lots of drugs. Lots of drugs. <laughs> Brittany's, Brittany's going to be a little baddie for a while. We're going to need yeah. a padded room for this girl. Yeah. We won't go into all the details, I guess, because a lot of you probably don't uh, uh, want to know all the details of what We've got to go through with this, but there's a there's a lot of prescriptions, and uh, in the end, uh, we might just have a little baby come out of it. Jeez, I sure hope so, cause I'm not going through surgery for nothing. Yeah, that's gonna be very uncomfortable. I feel kind of guilty. My part is pretty easy. It's actually kind of enjoyable. I mean, I don't think they want to know that either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, my part's not that bad, so. I'm just trying to be there for her. So whenever she's got an appointment, I've let work know already. Whenever she has an appointment, uh, I'm going to be there to drive her in, drive her home. And there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, so March 21st, you start your, uh, not the injections, right? No, your blood work. Yeah. And, and then, then 28th, the injections start. And then the injections start. And then roughly, give or take, the week of the 4th of April, I'll be going into the city like every day or two for an ultrasound to look at my follicles. Mm -hmm. And then it sounds like I'm being harvested like a chicken around the 11th, roughly. Depends on how my body works with the medications. Harvested. That's the worst part. It makes me like eat. Egg Feel retrieval. Weird. Egg retrieval. Yeah. Either way, nothing sounds good. So we're hoping to get what, 15 to 20 eggs? Heck, I'm hoping for 30 or 40, but well, that might be <laughs> 15 to 20 or so and in the end like they they have to uh, they fertilize them and then uh, they turn into what embryos right blastocytes blastocytes but yeah, fancy embryos. words i'm not a scientist embryos yeah yeah and then we're hoping to uh end off with like what, five to ten that would be wonderful in but total but most people don't get that many from what i hear so we'll see thankfully i'm not quite at the geriatric pregnancy stage, but once you're 32, things start going real quick in you. So warn mm -hmm. your daughters, freeze your eggs. 
<laughs> I'm not kidding. Do it. You don't heard it right wait. here. Don't wait till later in life to have a family. Freeze your eggs if you plan on doing that. This is the information you signed up for right here on Trucker Josh Vlogs. You heard it here first. Infertility is a thing. Everyone I talk to now, because I'm trying to like break the stigma of talking about this. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone wants to be all hush hush about it. No, I talk to everybody about it. And everyone I've talked to pretty much, like at least 90% of people, know at least one person in their family or a close friend or somebody that yeah. has this going on. Pretty much everybody. I didn't know there was a stigma. I'm a vlogger. I just talk about everything. Yeah. I don't care. There's definitely there's a stigma. There's no stigma to me. Just, so what? There's, the doctor has said there's nothing wrong with either one of us that they can find. Yeah. Yeah, so people get very There's nothing to be embarrassed about. This is that's something that a lot of people go through. A lot of couples are going through. There's a lot that we know. Yeah. People, so, well, not know personally, but know of. I know but, personally uh, some people that are going through it. Huh? That's yeah. true. You do, don't you, at work? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, people get very uncomfortable when I talk about my uterus, but uh, buckle up. Yeah. Because I don't hold back. All the new subscribers right now are like, what did I just click on? Ah! <laughs> I thought this was going to be trucking. <laughs> There's a lot more. Go read the description down below my videos. It's not just trucking. It's Saturday. Uh, we have other things going on in our life besides that, but that is uh, what I'm usually doing. <laughs> but the transfer or the implantation would probably happen end of April, right? Nope. No, nope. May. Probably May, yeah. May, mid to end and May. They freeze your embryos, and then your body needs to go through a full cycle. So like, you know, 28 to like 35 days. Um, so that your body can kind of reset and recover from the egg retrieval. Okay, so let's say the implantation works in May, so June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. It'd be about mid-May and then February, baby. Yeah, February or March, so around this time next year. We have a baby if it all works out. If it takes first try. First time. I hope so. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, so that you're all up to date now on what's going on, we're very excited. That means that uh, the ball is officially rolling and it's go time. It's go time. And our bank accounts will be drained shortly. <laughs> very quick. Uh, if you're wondering, if you're getting into this and you're wondering how much IVF costs in Manitoba, it's different in every province. Uh, here it costs, well, we can let you know once we're done, but we're, we've been told between like $16,000 and $20,000. And they've told us that the prices are actually going up this April as well, but they didn't tell us how much. Of course they didn't. They, they just said they're going up because everything's going up. Nothing like taking advantage of desperate people. Yeah. No it's kidding. It's pretty unethical, but... It's privatized healthcare, yeah. so it's greedy. What can we do? We can't yeah. do anything. We just got to go with it. We have no other clinics competing with them. Yeah, there's only one clinic in Manitoba. But, oh well, with that aside, uh, money's not really the big the big issue. It's the, the baby. It's going to come out. But the money part is important. We got to make sure that we can pay for it. And we're all set. We're starting this day off with Vector. And Snowman Coffee. Whoa, what's going on over there? What's going on over there? Commander, did you see that? I saw it. I saw it. He gets one too? You kidding me, mama? I will jump off these to my death. Oh, 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 what, what is that? Oh, yummy. Hey, here's your baby chicken. I love chickens. Frank, did you like it? No. Did. But I ate it anyways. He loves eggs. He gets very excited for eggs. You should see him at my mom's house when we have sleepover. She cooks them eggs. He goes nuts. Yeah, your mom spoils the dogs. She thinks of them as her real grandbabies. No, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, <laughs> she, she literally goes grandma on them. Yep, she goes all out. <laughs> she... <laughs> she definitely goes grandma. Grandma mode. Yeah, that's all right. They need that. Cause I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, chintzy. Is that the word? Chintzy and you actually treat them like dogs from time to time. Yeah. I like to remind them that, uh, I'm the boss. I don't. I'm mom. Yeah. She's mom. They're my babies. I'm a crazy dog lady and I know it. But I remind them that I'm the boss. I mean that I go and tell them to stay for no apparent reason and then walk to the other side of the house and see if they'll listen to me. They don't. And then they get brought back until they do listen. 
I'm the boss. I don't care what she says. Right, Diesel? I'm the boss, right? Nope. Mom's the boss. He's definitely the boss. He's right there. He's right there. He's the boss. He's mom. You got some very nice jeans here. Mom, you're the boss, right? Very nice. Dad doesn't share his food. Mom, you got any more eggs? No, not for you. It's one thing I don't do as much. I don't share my food with the dogs. And uh, she shares everything with the dogs, which is cool. But then everything it makes me- Everything that's healthy for them. Well, yeah, everything that's healthy, yeah. But uh, it makes me jealous because then the dogs act like they love her more. But really, I know deep down in their hearts, they love me more. Chevy, we dropped mom off at work, so it's just us now. It's just us. Just the boys at home. Where's the rest of them? Hey, does anybody care? All days always up on your throne. Mom's at work now. It's a very sad time. Just me and the guys here now. I miss her so much. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, look at these two guys. We got Frank and Frank. But to make things simpler, we got Big Frank and Wiener. How's it going, guys? How's it going? He's had a sore eye, but it looks like it's pretty much healed up for the most part. I got to give him an eye drop at 3.30. He's really going to love it when I do that. You don't need to shake, buddy. <laughs> he doesn't like those eye drops at all. And this is Big Frank. He's just a tank. He's got to be like 340 years old, and he's still going strong. He's seen some stuff. Fought in the Great Milk Bone Wars. Okay, and uh, I got new flags. I ordered these four weeks ago. They finally came. I ordered four of them, just in case. One second, let me put you down over here. Let me show you my haul. I ordered these, like I said, four weeks ago. And these things right here are so hard to come by, at least in my region, that uh, everybody's sold out. And I ordered these on Amazon, and they took four weeks to get here. I got four of them, just in case. They're the cheap kind too, so they would tatter pretty quickly. I mean, you got quadruple stitch here, but it still uh, frays in the wind pretty quickly. It's just polyester. The ones that I like to fly on the flagpoles, at our old place we had a flagpole, right? And uh, my our new place when we build, I'm gonna have a flagpole there too. And then I like to have the the stitched, the stitched ones, the really nice ones. What are they called? Vinyl, vinyl stitched. I'm gonna put these all in the dryer with a wet towel or something, a moist towel, just to get the creases out of them. Thank you to those of you who on my Facebook told me how to do that uh, about a month ago too. It works. I got four of these guys. We're set for at least a little while. Look at that. Woo! Right there, right there, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna put these uh, in the dryer and get the, the creases out of them. And I hang one in my shop. Might hang one outside the shop too. Might put a little flagpole out there if I can figure out a way of doing that without damaging anything. We'll see. Now when you look at that, it's the, it's the same one. Whoa, wrong way. Do not fly your flag that way. Bugs me. There you go. Right side up all the time. This flag right here represents us, the Canadian people. Doesn't represent any politicians. It doesn't represent anything but the people. And the people are always strong. Always fly it right side up. Okay. Come with me. Come with me. And throw them in the dryer. So in the United States next door, they pledge allegiance to their flag. We don't do that in Canada. We don't pledge allegiance to our, this is just a symbol of the people. To us, it is very important, but we don't pledge allegiance to the cloth. We would pledge allegiance to the community, us, the people. And this is this just, when you're going around the world, this is just the symbol. This is our family symbol. It's like a family crest. This is ours. Okay. Oh, of course there's stuff in there. There's always stuff in there. 
Much more important things to put in here right now, guys. Much more important. Okay, we're gonna put it on low heat. I'm gonna just get a, a towel, throw a moist towel in there with it and put it in there for like 15, 10, 15 minutes. That'll get rid of all those creases and then we can hang one in the shop. bounce sheets in here. I'm all about the bounce sheets. There you go. That way they smell nice. Not only does it look beautiful flying in the sky, it's also important that it smells nice. You never know, you want to create a good impression for the birds or anyone else up there. There we go. And then these things here one second these things here that were in the dryer these are our uh, couch covers they're the the spare couch covers for on here because we have dogs and dogs belong on the couch we have couch covers that cover our couches and that way we can just switch these things out uh, whenever they need it and this one's going to need it soon and good thing we've got clean ones right here and then those ones will go in the wash right chevy and then you can have your spot there whenever you want that's the chevy spot it's his lookout he looks out the window from there and he barks at needless things to bark at. Right, Chevy? We're working on that, right? We're working on it? No, you're working on it. I'm not working on it. I don't need to work on anything. Well, maybe you should work on it too. No, you need to stop barking at every little snowflake that blows past the window. Okay? Yeah, we're working on it. It's so hard. And these go in the room here and this is my little work area here i'm going to be moving most of this work area to the shop soon as you can tell uh we have a very small house i need some sort of work area in here so for now until this needs to be a baby nursery uh this will be my little office space but once the baby comes along uh i'm gonna need to convert this into a nursery all right that was my my promise to the wife and my promise to myself this is uh we want to make this into a nice little space for the kid for, for the kid, for our kid, for, huh, for the kid, for our kid, words matter. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's this is another reason we needed the shop, right? Because uh, we got stuff all over the place, weasels and stuff. We need a place to store all our weasels. Right, Diesel? You okay, bud? I don't really want you to be on camera today, man. Get into my hair. Stop it. Get into my hair, man. Not really want you to be on your vlog today. You're going to be on the vlog anyways. Everybody wants to see you. They love you. Whoa, of course they do. Look at me. Fair point. So yeah, there's this room and then, like I've shown you, it's not the neatest home, but it's the average home. I think you could relate. Right? We're, we're not perfect. This is the dog bedding here. We have the dog beds for the big guys at night here, but they like to mess it all up all the time. That's Diesel's blanket because he's a he's a princess. He likes to sleep under a blanket under the covers at night. And then this, they get to sleep on the uh, glorious beards of Duck Dynasty. Provides extra softness and comfort for them sleeping on the beards. <laughs> and we have this sheet on the bed here. Uh, we have our blankets underneath, but this is because our dogs are our family, and yes, they are allowed on the bed. As long as their feet are dry and not wet. And that's why we put this sheet over our bedding so that they can come up here. And then again, you just change the sheet. It doesn't get the bedding dirty. And again, we don't have a space to dry our clothes because we uh, dry them all in the drying rack here. So we have to dry them in our dining room. Right, Chevy? It's a little bit small, but that says... Wait, wait, one second. Come here, Dad. I'm on the other side of the jeans. Here. Dale says he's building a brand new house that's gonna be way bigger. Lots more space, and plus he's got a big fancy shop now where he's gonna take all his junk. That's what Mom told him. Mm. You call myself junk, Chevy? No, Mom does. <coughs> oh boy. Are you getting bored? Do we need to go out and play? Is that a Chevy's favorite thing to do? Yep. Going on out here, man. Going on, hello. Hello, we talking about dad's junk? 
you know, all the stuff I've got to move over to the shop diesel. Got to move a bunch of the stuff in there so we have space to live in here, right? Living tight on a budget within our means so that we have room in our budget to save for our bigger house that we're going to build in a couple of years. Yes, it's going to be great. I'm going to have my own room. My own room. Yes, I'm going to have my own with your room. I want my own room too. No, no, you guys get your own room, but you're going to have to share it. You'll have your own personal access to the outdoors. I really should share with you uh, one of these days the plans. We have our blueprints uh, built out already. It's going to be a custom home that we have uh, designed ourselves. The dogs do have a special room of their own where they'll be able to stay in when we're not at the house so that they're not like ripping all over the house. They have a nice big room which is probably going to be about the size of, uh, well, this half of the house. Here, it's going to be their own room. They're going to have their own exits into a nice protected outdoor area where they can go outside even if we're not home and do their business and stuff. It'll be a nice fenced in area so that predators like bears and cougars and stuff can't get in there and they can't get out either. And it'll be facing the back into the bush so that they're not distracted by passing cars or or anything else that'll make them bark, right? Because we don't want them to bark while they're out there. And we'll have a little, obviously have cameras in there too, and a little uh, uh, voice, like a, you know some of those cameras that you have, it's like a security camera in their outdoor area and then you can talk to them wirelessly so that if they're being bad you can be like, hey, smarten up, go inside. It'll freak them out because they won't know where the voice is coming from, but <laughs> we'll at least have that. And that'll be so that when we're at home, we can we can go out. Like, we're not going to go out overnight, but we can go out for like a, a late dinner in the city or something and stay gone for like 12 hours. Right now, we can't do that. The longest we leave these guys, we can leave these guys alone is like six to eight hours. And that's already pushing it. Uh, so we want to be able to go out for longer periods of time. And that way they can let themselves out and stuff. Because these guys, they get lots of, lots of time to run around in our yard here, too. But uh, we have to be here to watch them. I don't want them barking at the neighbors, disturbing the neighborhood. I don't want to have animal control or something show up being like, Hey, your dogs are too noisy. Make them stop. I just want to avoid that whole situation. So we're very careful and very strict with our dogs outside that they're not allowed to bark. So we can't just let them you know, roam around the yard when we're not here and start barking and then we're not here to stop it. That's, I find that to be very annoying and rude when other neighbors do that. We don't have any neighbors like that here, but when people do just let their dogs bark non-stop outside and don't do anything about it. I had a neighbor like that where I used to live uh, two houses ago. That's one of the reasons we moved because the neighbor down the road would just leave their dogs outside in their fenced in area all day while they went to work, all day. And they wouldn't stop barking non-stop the entire time. I don't want to be that neighbor. <laughs> we love our dogs a lot. They're our family and our children. They belong in the house with us and uh, they get plenty of time to run around. Plus we have a dog park like right around the corner. We love taking them there and they can rip around with all the neighborhood dogs in there. They love that. All right, now which one of you is gonna do the editing for me today? Diesel, you make Chevy do a thing. That's a very big truck, wow. It's kind of, it is very nice. Ooh, look at flag. Wow. What is this place? So have you been here before? This is my shop. Oh yeah. There's some new stuff in here. Smells like cleaners. That's bull snot. Wow. Very nice. So now that Britt's off work, we're gonna go out and eat because we haven't gone out to eat in so long. A few weeks ago with Rick and Sabrina, but we That's haven't been true. to Big Smoke in a while. That's true. This is Big Smoke. It's like the best restaurant in town. You can smell it already. Oh, yeah. Oh, you smell that? Oh. Let's remember to lock my, my doors. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. You smell that? Mm hmm. Barbecue. Yep. 